but let's uh, get this APIs uh, set up. Um, and, and let's have one of one of our APIs in here. So you see this basic stuff in here, that's fine. But let's get a Swagger API, like something with, with some endpoints defined. So um, just simply search for like kind API in Backstage. So you'll get to uh, this. And it has some hard-coded stuff, but for now we're gonna copy this. We're gonna put it in a Git repository where we have a uh, setup, and we'll say create a file. Oops. Create new file. API dot yaml. Let's call it Open API dot yaml. Put it here. We're calling calling it Artist API. Commit. Uh, search for open API copy the URL so whenever you need to register a YAML always copy this URL whatever you see in the browser when you're viewing that file and that's what you need to register but now I have the uh, API entity as well so you can see this here and when you go to ref like the definition tab that's where you can see the API definition now um, this YAML is custom. Like you, you're not gonna hard code the open API definition in here. So what you will do, um, like when you set this up, is you're gonna point this to uh, actual um, open API definition. So let's see if that is uh, documented uh, here. Hmm, no, it's not, uh, unfortunately it's not documented. So, that is called the API Docs plugin. So if I search for backstage API Docs plugin, um, that's where I'll find some documentation around it. Yeah, I've already installed that. Uh, this is not helpful. Um, how do I use it? No, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Um, so this is the, like what we're trying to do is we're trying to read the uh, oh, Swagger JSON from a file. So backstage read from file. Let's see, we, we get the, yeah, look, it's called local file substitution. Um, something like this YAML. And this was implemented. It's a very old PR that we're looking at. Um, so let's see. We'll find a syntax here. Yeah. Okay. So we can do this. We can say, well, here's our file. And uh, it can be local, it can be a uh, public URL. Um, so let, let me do that. Um, we can do let's find a swagger json swagger api json example this is good let's change our api to point to this so in definition what we're going to do is says we're going to say Okay, the indentation is two, not four. Dollar, we're gonna say dollar file, and we'll paste the link to that file. Now, I'm gonna try this first, then I'm gonna try dollar JSON and dollar YAML. I'm gonna start with dollar file. Commit change. Now, here's something we'll learn. Now we have changed the YAML uh, in here. 
let's see how do we make the how do we update the catalog so we go here and another important piece you see these three dots you can actually inspect the entity you can see what is the yaml that i'm getting right um okay well i'm looking at the wrong one I'm, i need to look at the api one right so you can filter by kind as well you can say artist api this was this is what we're looking at inspect raw yaml it's still the old thing that we had right it's not the file thing so you need to just hit refresh and then this should trigger a refresh by default catalog refreshes every like 30 minutes but you can you can just hit refresh and if you reload this is gonna come with the newer one now it's showing you an error which means that our newer stuff did not work that's okay um, and by this edit button you can come in here now let's try JSON but if you if you click on these three dots you can actually see that this was updated um, and we got some processing error so it did not update the entity actually let's hit refresh again then reload the page um, this is good um, so placeholder JSON could not read the location because it's saying not allowed error and that is fine because backstage does not load files like this if you do not explicitly allow it so what you need to do is you're gonna you have to go to the backend dot reading dot allow um, in your app config backend dot reading it doesn't have it so just add it yourself reading reading you can't spell this allow and this needs to be a list of all the um, hosts that you want to allow this from so this needs to be something like this let's confirm backstage reading allow So you see here, okay, back in reading law host, okay, to do this. Backstage docs are sometimes insane. Like you have to really know what is correct, what is old to really do that. Okay, so I've allowed this. I should also allow like github.com, but I think it's allowed by default. So I've allowed a few URLs. I think uh, this should be fine. Let's hit refresh. Uh, because the backend must have loaded i've changed the app config uh it's not loaded so let's uh restart our backstage backend let's see uh where, where did that oh i lost my entities okay let's register this again no worries but why did i lose it because i have not set up the database to postgres uh now i'm getting that error spec definition must be type string hmm. so that json is not working okay now the last thing we're gonna try is something that that's called text i think that's gonna work dollar text yep yep dollar text works so it doesn't need to be json it doesn't need to be a file it just needs to be a text Okay, let's see. Um, copy, paste, analyze, and it's done. So now if you see the component, so this beautiful swagger docs in here, 
uh, it's, it's it's going from a Swagger JSON. So how do you set up API docs? Well, there must be something that you're using which is extracting all of your open API definitions and, and converting into a JSON format, format like this. This is the standard open API uh, format. Once you have this, you can register it inside backstage with this syntax. Sounds good. You need to use text here. Um, that's very important. So let's check having APIs as done. 